So when you grow up in an abusive family or an abusive environment or you have to struggle at school or getting bullied, you end up having lots of self-doubt. We as human beings, we're social animals. We want the world to like us. We want people to accept us for who we are and we want to be loved. When you are abused or bullied, you end up wondering whether there's something wrong with you rather than the world. Because you think, how, how come everyone is treating me in a certain way? There must be something wrong with me. And that's what happened to me. Um, I was told that I was short, I was ugly, that I was gay, I was going to get some disease and I was going to die very young. And these were things coming from my mother, the person who's supposed to love you unconditionally. And again, I think I'm grown up enough to understand that whatever she did, she didn't do it maliciously. She was suffering from some mental issues perhaps of her own and maybe her life was a lot of struggle and stress and she took it out on me. And uh, it just happens. I just happened to be in the way. But as I was growing older, I constantly had these fears and issues in the back of my mind when people look at me and a lot of you comment that I dress really well and I have this sartorial elegance and I have nice clothes and all that it's not by miracle it's not by chance this is all by design this is by my own effort as I was growing up I was told that I was ugly when I lived in these non-European countries. Uh, I was an outsider, I looked different, I was constantly mocked and I tried to blend in, I tried to be like everyone else but you can't change the way you look. And I was mocked a lot in many ways and bullied and beaten up at school. Um, so I ended up dressing extremely well because I thought if I dress extremely well, it will hide my ugliness because it will distract the attention from how I look and people will look at how I'm dressed. And that went on for a long time. It's only recently in the last couple of years I've started wearing hoodies and things because before that I wouldn't dream of being seen in public wearing a hoodie or some casual clothes. I always made sure I left the house looking immaculate because I didn't want to look ugly. And these are the little things that we have our personal struggles and things that we deal with in our lives that we sometimes don't know how to verbalize, sometimes we don't know who to talk to about them. And in reality, a lot of these things are in our own head. Going back to the point about bullying, I was bullied and I was beaten up at school and very early on I realized that I was skinny and small and if I got into a fight, I would get beaten up. And most of the time, 90% of the time, I did. But I decided that I'm not going to be beaten up and I'm going to fight back. So I fought back numerous times. Broke my nose three times. Broke my elbow once. Uh, dislocated my shoulder once. But all these things were not healthy to be growing up with. Um, and obviously all those issues that I had to deal with every day made me the person I am. So there is a positive and a negative. I could have easily become a druggie and completely, uh, I don't know, overdosed or died or done nothing with my life and blamed the world. But I took the other side of this and I thought I'm going to make myself better. Better than all the bullies and all the people who abuse me in some shape or form. I decided I'm not going to let them shape my life because of the nastiness that they gave me, I'm going to make myself into the person I want to be. And there is this thing that uh, I think it's some psychiatrist or psychologist who created this idea, this concept that you have, this is your present, this is your future, this is your past. Everything that you're doing here is forming the future, but your past is a feedback. So you keep getting all the experiences the negativities they keep feeding into your present and then you start doing the same things 
and you are afraid so you keep going dipping into your past so what you do is you create a future personality of yourself you say this is what i want to be in the future and this is what i aspire or aim to be so instead of looking at your past experiences and your past issues about here you're in your present you look at the future ethan and say the future ethan is going to be successful the future ethan is going to be happy the future ethan is going to not care about what people think and then you start dipping into that imaginary person in the future and then your feedback loop starts happening here and then you're gradually moving into that future and those two combine and suddenly you're happy and successful again success a lot of people because of social media because of our society marketing the whole concept of success is money and money isn't success money is actually a place of loneliness and sadness and insecurities and problems success is when you're completely fulfilled and happy and content and i personally don't know many people who are and i wish i will be one day the reason i change cars and do all these stupid things is because i'm still struggling with the demons of my past and i keep filling the gaps in my life the unhappiness the hollowness of lack of a family with the uh, things so i want to touch on the subject of lack of support from your friends or your family those of us who have a decent enough family even though no family is perfect it's still nice to have one because they provide you some kind of a support structure and even if they don't provide you with support at least there are people you can go and talk to i didn't have a family so i created a very tight knit social circle of friends that i really were close to and they acted as my family and gave me that support structure and i think my relationships have suffered as a result because i'd never had a happy family so i didn't really know how to be happy and how to create a bond with my partners so i had three long term relationships all of them amazing people and i respect them but i feel sorry for them in a way because i think they suffered or had to struggle with because of my issues in the past because i didn't have a family growing up i ended up putting a lot of that burden onto my partners because they were my friends they were my partners they were my family they were everything so suddenly a person comes into your life and they have to pick up this burden of several people that they just want a relationship and suddenly now you have asked them to be everything my last relationship was 5 and 1/2 years i was extremely happy in my head in my relationship because i thought i had met the love of my life and i was going to spend the rest of my life with him and uh, unfortunately because of my issues i made his life difficult and eventually we broke up and after that i decided that i need to fix myself as much as i can before i get into another relationship because there are things there's a lot of baggage that i've been carrying for a long time so i had 2 years of therapy um one day a week or one hour uh, every week so it was quite intense um 52 weeks in a year so you could imagine 2 years of this and it made me realize a lot of the things that even though i'm a grown up and even though i think i make my own decisions i was making decisions in my life based on what my abusive mother wanted from me because somehow i was still sub- subconsciously living that life of the child trying to please his parent and i had to really get out of it and uh, yeah it was a very very good learning experience about myself and i think that if you have the means or the chance or the possibilities of seeing a therapist it you should because 
you don't have to be crazy to see a therapist you don't have to be broken like me to see a therapist it just really helps it makes us understand who we are and makes us better people